This video shows how to control where your packages go and specifically how to uh, set up a custom user library. This is an extension of uh, Meetup uh, of the DS incubator that covers the topic, but it stops at uh, how to work with a temporary library because that is a more general use case. The idea of uh, setting up a custom user library uh, may come uh, useful occasionally, but not so much that I think it's not worth um, using that time in a DS incubator live. But here I will leave a record and leave a video in the um, YouTube list so that if you're interested to do that, you know how to do it. Again, this is part of the bigger, uh, of, of the series of the DS incubator about the book, what they forgot to teach you about R. So the in normally when you install an R package, say that you install it with install.packages from CRAN, you could call it with the first argument alone. Let's say that you want to install this package. This is how most commonly we install packages. But where do packages go? Okay, the message that prints here tells us it. So in this case, it's going to this library. So it is a library that doesn't uh, include our user name. It, it's uh, installing at the level of the site. So this is um, this system that I'm using here is a Docker container using a Linux system that uh, is shared across uh, uh, multiple users. So every package that I'm installing here, um, you know, is installed at a level that is accessible to other users. So uh, what if you wanted to control that? What if you are a user and want to install packages just on your system and not into the um, kind of site level uh, library? All right, you can do that with the second argument to install the packages, which is the argument live. So that is what specifies uh, where they go. So the, in the DSM query, we show that we could you could do it in a temporary directory. The package could install there, um, and then you know you could simply uh, use it from that uh, directory. Um, but in this case, we want to install it in a user um, library that we haven't yet set up. So first we would need to set it up. So how does uh, you know, that default uh, of the argument live um, you know, work? Well, the way it works is that it is the first element of the output of the function live paths. So this function, when you print it with no argument, let me clear this up, make this a little bigger and run it again. So the function dot live paths prints um, every library that you have uh, set up. Uh, and in particular, the very first one here, which might now look familiar from the message that I printed before, is the one that is used by default when you call install the package. So basically, lead path element one. So you could have a quick look into it. Uh, let's say uh, that we want to inspect it. So let's do at least files inside that directory. So here you may um, recognize these names as the names of some packages that are extensions of the packages that come with CRAN, with um, R. So the ones that come with R in this system are installed in this other pa uh, path, in this other library. Uh, so that you know the, the patches that come out of the box with R are separate from the ones that you install as a user, uh, either in your custom library, which we haven't uh, set up yet, or at the site level. So now, how do we uh, add a path to lead path? And how do we ensure that it is set up as the custom uh, path all the time that I install the package as a user. All right, so the trick is this. So the, there is an environment variable called um, R. Uh, let me show you as a type. Um, let's uh, get this environment variable, R leaves user. So this is the one that specifies uh, where the user uh, packages uh, should go. But for that path to be used, and first, uh, the directory has to exist. So if I do um, directory exists to ask if that directory exists, we get false. So we could create that path and then set it up in a way that I haven't shown you yet. But instead, we're going to do something um, a little bit more um, personal. So this uh, path um, is, is a very fine one, actually the one that I, I usually use. But what if we wanted to, um, you know, use our own, uh, you know, name for a, a library here? So the place where you can set that up 
uh, basically what you need to do is to set up the uh, environment variable rlibs user but where okay the place is the r environment file so let's do that so we can do, use the function use this from the use this package edit our environment to uh, open that file and now set it up here so r leaves user uh, takes the value say that we want to put it here in home then r and then custom leave uh, that that's a you know fine name but uh, remember to always set up your libraries so that they include the name the version the minor version of r that you're using and the way you do that is with percent v so this will be expanded by r to the minor version of r that you're using and then also remember remember to end this r environment file always with a, a new line uh, with nothing else then save the file you can close it if you want uh, and for it to take action uh, we have to do a couple of things first you now we need to restart r uh, but if i now call the uh, the environment the environment if i inspect the environment variable um with as i said before r leaves user so we do get the as an answer the path that we just um, created but the fact that we created that path doesn't mean that we created the directory in our system. So I can do, uh, we can query that with a dir exists and we should get a false, right? So the, the way to create the directory, um, one way could be this. We just create it and make sure that we cr recursively create any intermediate path to the one that we are uh, we want to create so now if we query if the directory exists now we do get it true so we are close to what we need but not quite so if i call leave path uh, i still get um only two paths and the reason is because we haven't restarted the system so we do it now again and now the path appears here but still we are not quite there so the directory for it to be used as default has to appear in the first place. So if you look into the help file of the function leap paths, you will see that it has an argument that you can use uh, to set what is the first element of uh, you know, that call. So uh, that is then what we need to do. Sys get em. So the way to get the path that we want could be this calling sysgetenv r leaves user uh, and then if we pass that inside lead paths then the output of lead path will be oh sorry let me this i don't like let's do lowercase so out now holds um you know the same elements than before but the first element is the one that we want so this call to lead path will lead to um, the default behavior that we want. So basically, if I now do uh, an install packages uh, for RTGI data, for example, that package should go to um, the custom library that we want. But we are still not fully there. Now, I promise we are really close uh, because the issue is that if I restart my system and uh, install the package again, it will go elsewhere. And the reason is that we have not set uh, leap path permanently but we have only done it for the session uh, where we defined uh, you know that the first element of leap path would be our custom library so the way to apply that so note that you know the fact to confirm it is, is this right that the message shows that the package when we reinstall it went somewhere else so the way to set it up permanently uh, is to edit our, uh, our uh, not our environment file in this case so the the place to put that would be our, our profile file so edit our profile uh, will open up that um, file our profile and here is where, where we want to set up a lead path to um, push to the to the front um, the output of sys get env our lives path our lives uh, user sorry right so this is um how um we can set up our our profile so that in every session our profile is a file that is always um you know inspected in the beginning of every R session so uh, in this way lead path will every time you restart R will always uh, be set to the custom use custom user library so we can we can prove that let's restart se the session here and uh, and now we can do 
um, a dot lib path and see how in the front we have the custom library. So now just to confirm that, that that all works, we could install packages, same package R2EI data, and it should go to where we want, which is our um, custom user library. So let's just confirm that here and then end the video. Thanks very much.